Hello everybody, my name is Pamela. Welcome to my channel for the love of beauty. I am here to come at you this evening with a review on um, Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation. Um, first, I would like to show you what um, foundation I was using and still is using. I am using the Revlon Photo Ready, you know, foundation. And it is in a caramel, uh, well this is in cappuccino. And this one is in a caramel. Okay. That, this is in a caramel, so hopefully it will match my skin. Like this, Revlon Photo Ready, it has a little pump nozzle here. Okay. And this Revlon Photo Ready airbrush foundation here. Um, make sure you shake it up before you use it. You probably can hear that. Um, let me take out this plastic wrap. And this is what it looks like. It has a little pump here. But you have to be very careful how you, you know, pump it out because you may get more than you need. Um, so what I am going to do, I am going to pump it out in this little plastic plate here show you guys what it looks like make sure you shake it up real good so this was ten dollars or more at um, Walmart it, you can find it cheaper probably somewhere else but at Walmart I got it for ten dollars and some change so let me show you so this is about much I'm going to use so you have to, I guess, use it quickly because the air that's in it is going to, you know, kind of dissolve. Okay. You can either use your foundation brush. You can use your stipple. I guess that's what you call your stipple brush. Or you can use your sponge, which I love my little red sponge here. But I wet it first to get it softened. So... Here we go. I hope this I already primed my face first with my Milk of Magnesia and Water Primer. I still use it. It works wonders. So here we go. Immediately the air goes out. So you just pump a little at a time instead of a lot. Because you may pump a lot out that you would need. I hope this caramel, it may look too light on my skin. So this is the, well, look like it looked too bright for my skin, but I'm not sure. I'll let you guys let me know how it looks on my face. I'm not going to say that it gives you a good coverage, but I can still see little black spots. Disclaimer, I just want to say that I brought this product with my own money. Nobody is paying me to do a review or, um, yeah, to do a review. This is in my own opinion. And um, that's it. So, um, does it look too bright on my face, or is this the right foundation for my complexion in a caramel? I didn't want to go dark because it make makes my skin. I mean, you know, I may look darker, but they always say go a shade lighter. Hmm. I think it looks okay on my skin. Okay. And next, what I am going to do, I'm going to set it with my um, setting powder. Let me see. I had it out a few minutes ago. Here it is. This is by Black Opal. 
invisible setting powder. Okay. Going to get my face brush here, which is by Revlon also. Okay, you guys, um, this is it. Um, I haven't noticed the specks. What everybody is saying that you see little specks after you, um, oh, yes, I do. I see little, um, specks in it. Let's see if I can show it to you. Um, Excuse me, I'm not giving you the bird, but I don't know if you can see it on my finger, or on my hand. I doubt if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it on my face. Okay. Well, I'm liking it. You guys, let me know if it's too light for my face or if I should get it in another um, skin tone color. I don't know what color, but the only color that I saw was, uh, like I said, caramel. And this is in a uh, cappuccino. And I didn't see a cappuccino, so I figured that maybe it's a match close to each other. So, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and be blessed. Bye-bye.